Your nightly news with Kim Miller begins now. Good evening. The incoming boss of the AFL has been grilled on who knew what and when and at which point the stadium became a condition for a Tasmanian licence. He's fronted a parliamentary committee in Hobart looking into the processes which led to the stadium decision, revealing the state knew 18 months ago the stadium was a precondition of getting our own team. Answers over when the stadium became linked to our AFL bid have been hard to come by, but CEO-elect Andrew Dillon was more forthcoming. Uh, Mr Dillon, are you saying that the stadium became a condition of the licence in December 2021? It was a precondition to bring the, um, to bring the application for the licence to the Commission and the 18 AFL clubs. Also revealing the state put Macquarie Point on the table in winter last year. Just last September, the Premier told Parliament... The stadium was not part of uh, the bid, Mr Speaker. It's always been made uh, very clear by our Premier Jeremy Rockcliffe and our state government that without the stadium, we do not have a team. In the wake of Dylan's comments, the state government's arguing when the AFL demanded a stadium and when we agreed to build it are two different points. But that hasn't satisfied opposition parties. But it is very clear that the stadium was a precondition of the AFL licence from the very beginning. You had a united parliament behind the deal with a Premier saying that it didn't include a stadium. But it did. Today, the committee also heard from Tasport CEO Anthony Donald. I see that as a fundamental, that, that, that yeah. we work collaboratively um, with all of our neighbours. Tasports is confident its working port won't be affected by the build. But it appears there's no longer room here at Mac Point for one major development. Well, the concept um, plans that I think we've all seen um, indicate that there's no specific Antarctic science buildings in, in the footprint. We are really committed to seeing an Antarctic precinct uh, in southern Tasmania. It's a really exciting project. A Macquarie Point Development Corporation spokesperson said a draft precinct plan will include an Antarctic and science hub. Josh Duggan, 7 Tasmania News. Well, nine people are headed for court after around two dozen firearms were confiscated during five weeks of raids across North...